Hello everyone, it's Robonic Zombie. Welcome to the Great Unknown Houdini's Castle. So like many games that I've played before, I don't know what this game is about, but it looks spooky. I think the premise is like a horror game, but this is uh, another hidden objects game. And so together, you and I will find out what this game is about. Uh, so let's get going. Number 4th, 1926, McPella Cemetery, Harry Houdini's Funeral. Harry Houdini, magician and escapologist, 1874-1926. I'll follow you to the ends of the earth to learn the secret of this damned trick if I have to. <laughs> Fifty years later. <laughs> oh. That's not terrifying at all. Hmm. Oh, there's a shadow moving back and forth by the door. Okay. Well, first off, this game is really pretty. So, several things we can look at. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's an axe. Yes, please. I'd like to play the tutorial as an axe murderer is about to come into this room. Part of the door lock. Okay, what's in this cabinet? Okay. That's clever. I have to add the objects to get the result. Okay, so <laughs> That's really neat. I had to solve the puzzle first. Okay, so we were on an airplane. Um, I'm not sure if we're playing as the man or the woman, but uh, we were on an airplane with our spouse and a laser beam. <laughs> um, or like, That looked like more like a, a Tesla coil. Um, uh, shot out at us and we crashed. The bunny with the knife. Okay. So... It looked like the guy that was trying to learn that trick <laughs> um, was the one that found us and brought us here. So, yeah. What a interesting and very thrilling start to this game. Not too many games, especially hidden object games, uh, take off uh, like that so quickly. Okay. I have a horse toothbrush, crab, there's a crab right there, um, drawer knob, there's one right there, 
queen of spades and an airplane to find. Okay. Oh, the word airplane. <laughs> That's tricky. Let's see, horse toothbrush and a queen of spades. There's the queen of spades. Let's see, now we have a horse and a toothbrush. Okay, there's the horse. Now I just have to find the toothbrush. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. I just noticed this, um... Here. This little doll is rocking back and forth. I forgot what these are called. I know their origins are in Russia. Uh... Their origin is in... Is from Russia. Um... Nesting dolls, that's what they are. You open up the top, and then there are smaller ones that, uh, come out. Very old type of toy. Very neat. Just need to find that. Here's the toothbrush. Okay. Found a drawer knob. Okay. Also, that, um, hidden object scene was very well done very well designed because the objects looked natural. They didn't look like a bunch of junk thrown together. That's one thing. I've um, started quite a few hidden object games that are not on the channel because I didn't, I didn't like the design of the scenes themselves and usually when the design of the scenes themselves are, is really choppy and it looks like a bunch of, it looks like a scene from quarters pretty much, the hidden object scenes. The stories are not as interesting. It's kind of like a game that was just hastily and sloppily put together. Okay. Bedroom window. I don't know why there's lag. Okay. I have a coin? Whoa! Excuse you, that could have hit someone! Here we have a rock. Babe, okay. Babe, you have to get out of here. Don't worry about me. I'm fine as long as I know you're safe. Love, Sam. Okay, so we're the wife. And our husband... Sam is somewhere. Sam, you know I'd never leave without you. Okay. We're not gonna take the note with us? I keep that. It might be the last thing we ever hear of Sam. Who are all these people? A sec. Okay, I, had, I turned down um, the music and the sound effect volume because even because I have a setting on uh, my end with the with the with the recording settings. Um, at least through my headphones, where I can turn down the volume that I hear through my headphones, but I don't exact. But it doesn't affect the re the sound in the recording. So um, the music and the sound effects gets lowered on my end, but in the recording, um, the sound of the music and my voice are at the same level, and my voice gets drowned out. So I just went in the game to turn down. The music and the sound effects so that way um, my voice doesn't get drowned out. Okay. Use a lens to work. Okay. What else can we look around at? So we have that cage. Is that all that's left of our plane? 
Okay, I see the nose right there. Okay, we already looked at that. Back to the bedroom. Soon you'll play the main role in my performance, Mr. Whitehead. Passenger jet still missing. This looks like the New York Times up here. Passenger jet still missing. A month has passed with no sign of the missing plane or debris. Experts are baffled. Could this Mr. Whitehead be my host? Is that our plane? How long have I been unconscious? Did anyone else survive? Okay. I would definitely have as many questions or more. Oh, there's a package there. Uh, about what's going on. Okay. Ah. Ah, here we go. Door lock parts. So, we're not going to address the hatchet that just went through the door? You're just okay with that? Okay. And... Here we go. No, I'm not gonna skip. I'm gonna try to work the puzzle. Trying to dial to make the color on both sides of the TV match. Okay. There we go. To the fireplace. Okay, let's go. You are going to encounter many tests. And if you are, in fact, the Chosen One, then you'll pass them without dying. Okay, first of all, who are you? Who was that? Is it the owner of the house? I don't care if it's the owner of the house, that dude's creepy! Disappearing case remains unsolved. Alan Whitehead is the primary suspect in the dis disappearance of his assistant, Rachel, during the premiere of his new magic show. However, with no body and no evidence, the prosecution has no case against him. Okay. I see. Mr. Whitehead is a magician, and his assistant disappeared during a performance. Sounds like he didn't know what he was doing. Okay, it's a mirror shard to go up here. Okay, not up there. To my beloved illusionist, Rachel. Okay. Is this the same Rachel who went missing? She seems like more than just his assistant. Fun fact, oh, quite a few of magicians employed their family members or especially their, uh, uh, life partners to be um, part of their show because <laughs> they didn't have to hire them. They were just free help. Okay. Looks kind of like instructions or something. May I find his missing tux? This boy will share his tweezers. This painting was torn to shreds, and the pieces are still around. Just have a mirror shard, a weight, and a stone. That sound is gonna get annoying for me to just. That sound. Whoever was renovating here left a mess. I need to find a way to bypass it. Cinema room. 
Okay. Ah. That is a screwdriver. I turned down the volume on the sound effects. Because like I said, it's going to get annoying every time I want to look at my inventory. I hear this. Yeah. Maybe it's not annoying for you guys, but it is. It is for me. Because I'll be doing that a lot. Okay. So many years of searching and I still haven't found the right person. Were all those years spent for nothing? Shall we never meet again, my beloved Rachel? I'm beginning to lose hope. Okay. What could have happened to Rachel, and why does he need a certain person to find her? Okay. So this is actually for splicing film. If you guys have never spliced film, um, in some instances it can be a, de a very delicate process, others is very simple, depending on what you're trying to produce. Um, if you're trying to produce a very, uh, <laughs> words getting mixed up, you're trying to produce a very smooth finish, it could be a very delicate process, but if, um, you were like me, and you were just trying to put something together, um, and, uh, it was at a higher rate that the film was being shown, higher frame rate, that's what it is, uh, then the splicing that you were doing wouldn't show up as 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 in detail as you would if you were have had it at a lower frame rate this old projector still might work but it needs a new lamp the metal gate. Okay. Hello? Wait! Well, whoever it was, they're gone now. Oh. Huh. There we go. Oh. What's up there? It looks like a record. And it is. Okay, so we have a lens. Light bulb. Huh. Those look cup. We're getting a lot picture. We're getting a lot of stuff. There's another hatchet. That looks like an axe rather than a hatchet. Missing a box. And this one? No. Okay. Or a rock? No. Okay. Let's go back. So we have a lens. Just to focus. Oh, you can make that out. Okay, fine. Okay, but we do have a light bulb. There we go. Much nicer. And we have the box to do that puzzle. Missing section. Okay. Let's go work that puzzle. Slide the box to form the image of a ladder in the middle of the column. Okay.
There we go. Ah! There's a ladder. Okay. What do we need the ladder for? Film reels, but we have to restore the film reel. Find the missing piece. Okay. Anything else? Find a way to. Can we use the ladder? There we go! Up the ladder! Whoa, it's pretty high up. This brick looks loose. Can we throw a stone at it? No. Okay. To the terrace. Let's go to the yard first. Oh. Not too tired yet, are you? Things are just getting started. Okay. Oh. Someone didn't like Houdini. Can't reach them. Move the tree away, and we got something. Magic shawl. Something else. Okay, we now have a pitcher of water. To the barn! Okay, I think that's all that's here is that. So... Let's go to the terrace. Great show, student of the Hu student of the Houdini, opening show the incredible Whitehead. Magical object, like a shawl. Mm. I should put something in the hat before I cover it up. No. We got a piece of paper that showed us something. Is that our journal? Oh. Okay. Okay. Let it. Let's do a bit of reading. Okay. <clears throat> Attacked. Someone tried to break into my room with an axe. What do they want? Sam, where are you? Yes. Ray of hope. Sam is alive. I could recognize his handwriting anywhere. He warned me to leave, but I can't. Not without him. Who is Mr. Whitehead? Soon you'll play the role in my performance. I have no idea who this is or what he wants from me. Shocking news. If this newspaper is correct, I have been unconscious for nearly a month. Am I the only survivor? Ghostly figure. Did I really see a ghost or was it just my imagination? I have to escape before I lose my mind. Newspaper. Mr. Whitehead was a magician, and his assistant Rachel disappeared doing a trick. Am I supposed to find her? But how? Whitehead's true Whitehead's true love? Was this woman not only Mr. Whitehead's assistant, but his wife as well? Magic trick. These look like instructions for a magic trick. What could it be? Whitehead's diary. Mr. Whitehead has been searching many years for someone who could find his wife. Does he want me to try to try too? I doubt I have more luck. A shadow passed the gate. Someone was just there. Was it Mr. Whitehead? Poster. Whitehead was Houdini's apprentice, and he even had his own show. 
I've never heard of him. <laughs> Pretty sure he's heard that other times that people have never heard of him. Okay. Wow, I didn't know that Houdini had an apprentice. Whitehead was lucky to learn from a master like him. We don't have anything to put in there. So... To the door! Okay, that's creepy. Ah! Oh, there's a film reel. That's a cello. And that's a skull. Because you have a clover, purse with money, red lens, fan, pipe bed, hourglass, bull scarred, screwdriver, helmet. There's a helmet. Baseball, mad compass, and an umbrella. There's a purse with money. Now all I have left is the hourglass. Music is very soothing. Okay, there's the hourglass. It's like it was etched into this. We have a red lens. Okay. Anything else around before we proceed? Ah, uh, we need the hand to go there. Okay, so go back to the telescope. Different colors. It still doesn't have... Okay. But we are going to continue this in the next episode. This is looking very nice. I love the art style. And um, as I said, the music is uh, really good. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye!